Okay. Happy Thursday, everybody. I was just looking at the computer before I hopped on the side and I see so many familiar faces. I just, you know, I miss you so much. Um, if you are new to the Reading Corner virtual classes, just so you know, my name is Karen Green. I own a school called the Reading Corner here in Tampa, Florida, and we've been offering these classes to our kiddos at our school. And we have been just so thrilled to be able to um, share it with as many people as we can. So today is going to be a little different. Um, I'm going to do the first section, and then I'm going to do the second section, with the, which is math. And then we're going to move on to Miss Allison. And you know Miss Allison's super fun. Like she brings tons of glitter. So um, I'm kind of the boring one that just teaches stuff. And then she's like the glittery one that also teaches stuff. Um, parents, unfortunately, I'm kind of going off script with the math. Um, we're going to do number of the day. And um, typically there is that worksheet that the kids can go along with it. So I apologize in advance. I just, I couldn't wrap my head around the two activities that are there, they're more activities for the kids to do on their own. I couldn't wrap my head around how to like bring that on paper to them. But if you want, all you have to do is like make a paper, like fold a paper into like nine squares. And then every time I do one of the activities on the number of the day, your kids can follow along with it, okay? So we're gonna get started. Oh, hold on. I think we need to do our jumping beans. So this week we have been using our spring curriculum and next week we are going back to week 20 of our year long curriculum. Um, and parents, like I said, you will be um, able to uh, just go into like Access Library, Karen's Weekly Picks, Preschool, and you'll see kindergarten week four. I will be on my stories probably by t Saturday. And then again on Monday, because I'm a little bit ahead of the schedule um, as far as planning is concerned. Um, but I'm going to be adding some games. So what you might not know is that we have a year-long curriculum, which our kiddos at the school would be in week 20, what did I just say, 21, 20. Um, but we also have tons of fun games. And a lot of times what we do in our school is we do our whole group like we're doing right now. Then we go into small group things and then we go into games like literacy centers and math centers. So I don't want you to think we're just like worksheet driven. Um, so I'm going to be adding some of those games. I'm going to be adding manipulatives like bears and stuff like that. But um, I will put a list out on our, po our um, reading corner online page that if you want to get bears, 10 grams, geo boards, those are some of the manipulatives that we use in the school. So you can, you know, get some of those on Amazon, but if not, I will have those available so your child can actually like glue the pieces on as we're doing it. So let's get started. We're gonna start with our sight words. What is this word? Big. And remember, when we see a yellow one, you guys have to stand up. G O go. L I K E like <gasps> jumping bean okay everybody stand up all right we're gonna count to oh my gosh i'm gonna make you count to 30. are you ready I'm waiting for everybody to stand up okay one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine thirty oh good job you guys you can go ahead and sit down. I think Mr. Andy should have to do that next time we have Jelly Bean. What do you guys think? Gabriella Reed. Oh, Gabriella Reed. Mr. Andy said that you did not get up and do jump, jumping bean. Uh, did Emma do it? Yeah. Emma, I'm so proud of you. Hey, Gabriella, Mr. Andy said he will get up and do jumping bean if you get up and do jumping bean. Give me a thumbs up if you'll do it. Okay. All right, ready? What is this? Or. Four. We. <gasps> ah, let's see. Oh, he's getting up, you guys. Ready? We're going to count by twos. Ready? Oh, do you see Mr. Andy? He's doing it too. Okay, let's go. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30. Good job, you guys. Say th good job, Mr. Andy. Everybody give him a thumbs up. Okay, what's this? L-I-K-E, like. M-Y says, my. Y-O-U says, you. <gasps> Another one! Okay, everybody stand up. 
Mr. Andy's gonna see it up too. We're gonna count by fives to 100, really? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 100. Oh, good job. Okay, Y-O-U says you. Okay, let's try a different game. I'm gonna say the jingle of a word and I want you to tell me what it is. What word is this? T-H-E says the, what word is this? M-Y, my, what word is this? L-I-T-T-L-E, little, uh, what word is this? L-I-K-E, like, what word is this? G-O, go, what word is this? A-N-D, and, good job. Okay, we're gonna get started. The two worksheets or activities that you guys need is this, and oh my goodness, I was so excited to get these out for my kiddos in my class, but I'm so excited we're gonna be using them now. So we're gonna get started with this activity. And before we get started, we're just gonna, I'm gonna say a word, and I want you to point to it on your paper, okay? So my word is at, hat, point to the hat. My word is and that's my word, fence. My word is b boot, boot or boots. My word is cloud, cloud. My word is sw ing, swing. Okay, so what we have to do with this activity, let's go through them really quick. I hope, sometimes I don't, you know I write all this curriculum, but sometimes I don't remember what I did. So I think this is supposed to be raindrops, jump rope, boots, hose, flower, swing, okay? Then we've got jelly bean, hat, rainbow, seeds, Mm, I don't know if this is a bunny or a rabbit. We're gonna have to figure it out. I think it's a bunny and then fence, okay? So we're just gonna have to play around with it. Let's go with ones that we definitely know. I definitely know this is a jump rope. What sound do you hear at the beginning of jump rope? J, j. Do you see a word over here that starts with that j, j sound? If you do, draw a line. Jump rope to jelly bean, okay? And remember, a jump rope goes down, little hook, come up and make a dot. Go ahead and do that. Down, little hook, come up and make a dot. And parents, again, if you don't have this curriculum printed for this week, we are actually offering our curriculum for free next week as well. Um, so just message me on Read Corner Online if you want to get access to that. And so your kids can kind of just watch today. Um, all right. The one I definitely know is Hose. What sound do you hear at the beginning of hose? <gasps> hmm. What do you think it matches with? The same beginning sound. Yeah, hat. So hose and hat. And H is pretty easy. Watch me first. I know you guys have it on your paper, but watch me first. Straight line down, touch the bottom line, come up and make a hump. Now you do it. Straight line down, touch the bottom line, come up and make a hump. Okay. The next one I definitely know is the word flower. What sound do you hear at the beginning of flower? Hmm. What object has the same beginning sound? Yeah, fence. So flower and fence. And watch me, don't start, because I know my kiddos in my class like to start without me. A lot of times you guys make the line and then you come back up and make the dash. But it's actually a little hook down, come up and make a dash. Watch me. Little hook down, come up and make a dash. Okay, you try it. Little hook down, come up and make a dash. So we did a little phonemic awareness, like a word game. Now we're doing beginning sounds and we're doing handwriting all in one place. So much activity going on. Okay. The next one is a swing. Now, yesterday, we started talking about blends. And do you remember blends are when two letters are put together and they blend together? 
What sounds do you hear in swing? Oh, it's hard. S w ing. S w ing. An S and a W. But we're just looking for a letter. What begins? What is the letter that begins the word swing? The S. Do you see another object that begins with the s sound? Yeah, seeds. Okay, we're gonna do our S, watch me first. It's just like an S or an A. Start at two o'clock, around, down, touch the bottom line. Okay, now I think I can figure out what the rest of them are. We have raindrop. What sound does raindrop drop start with? An R, and what do you think it connects to? The rainbow, yep. And watch, it's just like an H, straight line down, come up and make a little hook. So, oh, I sneeze every class, I swear. It's just like an N, because it's a short line down, and instead an N makes a hump, this one makes a little hook, so you try it. Short line down, come up and make a hook. Okay, and now we've got the easy one, right? We've got boots to bunny. But does a boot have a b, b belly or a d, d diaper? It has a belly. And watch my mouth. B, b, b. Do you see how I'm making a line? That tells my brain. It reminds me that if I'm going to b, 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 then I make the line first. Watch my D. D, d, d. Am I making a line with my mouth? No, no. So I know that that one doesn't make the line first. So the B makes the line first. Watch me first. Straight line down, touch the bottom line, come up and make a belly. Now you try. Straight line down, touch the bottom line, come up and make a belly. Okay, I love word searches. So much so that my son Justin makes fun of me because on Friday nights, I like to do word searches. And he thinks I'm kind of weird because I love doing word searches, but we have a word search on here, which is so fun. So what I notice about all these words, what do you notice about all of these words? I notice they all have the same ending sound. So they're part of a word family, meaning they're all part of the same family. Just like you, most people are uh, um, part of the same family because they have the same last name. These are part of the same family because they have the same last part of their word, right? It also means that they rhyme. So I'm just gonna say them really quickly, watch. Look, ad, lad, d, ad, dad, b, ad, bad, p, ad, pad, s, ad, sad, m, mm, ad, mad. Okay, so I'm so excited because we're gonna do the word search, all right? So the first word is lad. Look at your paper and see if you can circle the word lad. I never did get that sneeze out and I love sneezing. Who else loves sneezing? I love sneezing. Oh, Mr. Andy loves sneezing. I didn't know that. Did you find the word lad? I did. A lad, you guys, is just another name for a kid. Okay, the next word, I'm gonna get a fun pen. The next word is the word d ad. Now be careful. Notice it has two diapers. So can you find the word dad? Hmm. I saw it. Do you see it? Put your thumb up when you find it. Okay, two diapers. D Add. And you guys have that little like place where you can check it off. You can check it off. That's always fun to go check. All right. The next word is the word b add. Bad. Can you find the word bad? Remember, it's got a belly. B, b, b. Yeah. Bad. Awesome. Oh, check. All right. The next word is the word p add. Pad. Do you see that word? I found it. Did you find it? Yeah, sometimes Kendall and I do word searches together and we see who can find them first. I usually win, but don't tell her that. All right, so we're gonna go check. All right, the next word is the word sad. Do you see that word? I see it. 
see it. I love word searches. And let me tell you guys, word searches are so good for you. So if you like doing word searches, I'm sure there's apps on um, the web, on your iPod. I know mine's kind of like adult app of a word search, but word searches, I'm not going to tell you why, because it'll bore you, but word searches are actually really good for you and crossword puzzles and tracing and mazes. So all those things are fun. So if you like to do those, you're actually doing brain work when you do them. So check them out. Okay. The next word is the word, oh, I forgot to check, check, mad. Mm, add. See it? Okay, I see it. Mm, mad. All right, so now we have these questions down here. I'm going to give you a minute and I want you to underline all the phonograms you see. Oh, you're asking what phonograms are? Well, let's practice them. Um, I really need one more piece of paper. So it's going to be a kind of a small one because for some reason my EE -E has gone away. All right. So let's practice our phonograms before we go into those. I say E, you say, I say, ooh, uh, you say, I say, oi, you say, I say er like in first. You say, oh, it is here. I don't know why. I said e. You say, I say, sh. You say, I say, k. Two letters. You say, you know what? I'm going to add one more because I've been seeing this one a lot and I think it's time you guys learned it. It's kind of a really hard one. And when I first teach kids this, they're like, do I really have to say all that? So what it is, is er, most common bossy R. And the reason we say that is because there's actually four bossy R's. This one is the most common, which means we see it the most. And the reason that's important is if you become, come to a word and you're like, I know there's a bossy R in there, just try the ER because it's probably going to be the one you see the most often. Okay. So let's try that. I say er, most common bossy R. You say er, most common bossy R. I know. Every time I teach the kids that, they're like, why do I have to say all of that? I say mm, You say, oh, whew, I hate this one. I say mm. You say, I say, sh, k, sh. You say, I say like a pirate. I say R. You say. I say ow, o. You say. I say a. You say. Okay, so do you see the er most common bossy R? If you see the er most common bossy R, underline it. This is what it looks like. Do you see it? It's down here in the word paper. I see the two letter phonogram. Do you see it? Let me show you it. It's in the word this. Okay, if Aiden is on today, Aiden loves to find little words inside big words. Do you see another uh, sight word within this word is 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 hiding in this let's circle it okay do you see a word that has our e in it yep if you said e as in feel you're right okay this is the one we just started learning this week, and it says, mm. you see that in a word? It's usually found at the bottom, okay? Or I'm sorry, at the end of a word. And it's in the word being. Oh, there's a word hiding in the word being. Do you see it? It could be in, but the N is already taken from the NG. 
It's actually the word be. Can you circle that? All right. I'm going to give you a second, and I'm going to tell you a sight word, and I want you to circle it if you see it. Do you see the word of? Remember, we talked about that word yesterday because it sounds like it should be a U and a V. So it's like one of those really small, tricky, tricky words. Do you see the word of? Circle it. I see the word M Y my. I see it twice. Do you see it? I see it here. I see it here. Now I'm a little confused. I noticed that they're the same word, but they look different. Why do they look different? This one has a capital letter. Do you know why it has a capital letter? It's at the beginning of a sentence. So it always has a capital letter if it's at the beginning of the sentence. All right. I see the word I. Do you see the word I? Circle it. And remember, when we see an I by itself, it's always tall. Great. And then I see, I see the word a. Uh. Do you want to circle that one real quick? And then I see the word is. And remember, this one's kind of tricky because, listen, is sounds like it's a Z. But we know an S says Z. So an S can make that Z sign sound. So there's two it's. Okay, now we're almost done, but I see that we have to make the sentences complete. And we're gonna have to use one of these words, but there's also something that's gonna help us as well. Because we know that there are tall letters and short letters. Like an H is really tall, and a B is really tall, and an L, and then an A, and an E, and an N, and an R are kind of short letters. So you'll notice that the boxes show if it's a tall letter or a short letter. All right, so the first one says, this is my mad. Does that make sense? Well, it doesn't make sense. Would it fit in this puzzle? It wouldn't because it has M-A-D. So it would be short, short, tall. This is my, write what word you think makes sense in there. Dad. Now watch it. Make sure you do the circle first, just like an A. Start at two o'clock, touch the bottom line, straight line down. A, start at two o'clock, straight line down. Start at two o'clock, go up and down. All right, I feel, I mean really, it could be mad or sad. Let's put mad. I feel mad. Mm, at, watch those Ds. They're trying to trick you. Remember guys, a D is start at two o'clock, touch the bottom line, pull up, pull down, okay? I use a mm of paper. I use a what of paper? A pad. And do you notice that there's a really, really short word because it goes under the line usually. So go ahead and write pad. Ah, uh, d. Okay, my dog is being bad. So watch that B and that D, because the B has a diaper. Straight line down, come up and make a diaper. An A, start at two o'clock, straight line down. A D, start at two o'clock, pull up, pull down. Oh, good job. I love word searches. Raise your hand if you love word searches. I just think they're so fun. Okay, so we're moving on to math. And like I said, you guys don't have it in front of you, but if you get a piece of paper, you can just follow along with me. Okay, do you wanna know what the number of the day is? The number of the day is the number 10. So I'm gonna write a 10 and you guys can write a 10 with me. Now, does anybody remember what this is called? It's called a 10 frame, right? Go ahead and put dots to represent how many of the 10 frame you would cover and fill in. I'm gonna do it with you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Awesome. All right, let's make it. Hmm, what do we wanna make it with? Stars are really hard to make, but let's try it. You wanna to try to make 10 stars? Try to make them with me. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. My goodness, I love tally marks. And the reason I love tally marks is because when you have a bunch of groups of tally marks, instead of having to count each one, you can actually count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, okay? So this is what I teach my kids in my class. When you get to a five, you make a dive, meaning you dive down the row. Let me show you. One, two, three, four, when I get to a five, I make a dive, okay? Let's do another one. One, two, three, four. When I get to a five, I make a dive. And then look, when I count it, I can just go five, 10. So let's just pretend that we're, there are more sets. Like pretend those are sets of tally marks. Watch me as I count them. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Do you see, listen, let's do that again. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Do you see how fast it is to count to 35? Do you think it's faster to count by fives? Or do you think it's faster to go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. It's so much faster, guys. That's why we use tally marks, to group things in fives so it's easier to count, okay? Oh, I always have a hard time with one more and one less. So I like to use my number line, okay? So if I wanna figure out what's one more, I go on my number line and I find what number am I starting on? Just like we did the money hop yesterday, right? We start at the 10, okay? What's one more than 10? Here's the 10. Let's hop one more. 11. Okay, same thing with one less, except we're going backwards. So if we start at that 10, what is one less than 10? Yeah, it's nine. Good job, you guys. Okay, we're gonna play a quick game before we keep going. This is so hard, okay? But if you've got a little number line, or you can look at mine, I don't know if you guys can see mine. Um, let me see if you can get to it. Okay, so this is a really hard game. I'm gonna give you a number, and I'm gonna give you two other numbers, and I want you to tell me which one is closer, okay? If my number is eight, what number is closer, nine or one? Okay, well, let's look at our number line. If we see the eight, we've got a nine or a one. The nine is definitely closer to the eight, right? Okay, the next one is five. Ready? What is closer to five? Three or 10? If you look at the five, here's the three. Way over there is the 10. Yeah, the, the three is definitely closer. So that's kind of a game you can play. I'll tell you what, it's in our assessment and it's so hard and I always forget to work on that with the kids. So I'm glad I kind of remembered it. But now we're gonna draw it. And I just like to draw, draw um, dots, but here's the way I draw dots. I kind of think of numbers like dots, just like I would think of a tally mark. And let me tell you why. If you notice in a lot of the stuff I make with numbers, I make my dots like this. You see that? Does that look like something you've seen before? Let me show you. Does that look like something you've seen before? It looks like a dice. And so what I do is anytime I have to draw a five, I make the dots like this, so then you guys can automatically see the five. It's called synthesizing. I know it's a really hard word. You probably don't even realize that you do it, but like when you were like two, let's say, or three, and you saw a group of dots, you would actually have to count all the dots to get to the number five. Whereas now, you probably can just look at that and see five. So I'm gonna do another one. That's a kind of crazy one. Okay, close your eyes.
Okay, I don't want you to see it. Are your eyes closed? Okay, just like we said that, where sometimes you have to count them, sometimes you don't have to count them, and you can just look at it and get the number, and that's a really hard skill. So if you can do it, we're gonna give ourselves a pat on the back. I'm gonna show you it, and I want you to see if you can just tell me the number, right when I show you it. You ready? Go. How many is there? Hold up your fingers. Six. Oh, Mr. Andy knows it. So notice I didn't have to, you guys didn't even have to count. You didn't have to go one, two, three, four, five, six. You could just see that group. And I know it doesn't seem like a big deal, but it's actually really hard to do. So if you can do that, awesome. Cause that's what we want to get to. Oh, I'm so bad at even an odd. Like I always, I never remember it. I'm so glad I have my little gators. Cause the, honestly, to this day, I have to say the gator always eats the bigger number. Say that. The gator always eats the bigger number. And the reason I say that is because I never remember which way that arrow goes. Do you guys feel that way too? Do you get the, the greater than or less than signs mixed up? So I literally always have to make, even if I'm just making it, I have to put teeth on it. I know that sounds so silly, but I have to remember that because it makes sense, right? Like if a gator saw five fish or you saw two fish, and someone said, what group of fish did you want to eat? Of course the gator is going to eat the five because he's always hungry. So it makes sense when we say a gator always eats the bigger number. So if I have a 10, let's get rid of that six. If I have a 10, Miss Karen's like all over the place. I have a 10 and a four, okay? And I know for some reason that, that arrow is kind of hard too, so just try your best. If we know that the gator wants to eat the bigger number, which way would it go? It would go this way, you guys. It would want to eat the 10 because it's hungry. If you want, you can put those little arrows, the little teeth. So this is how you would read it then. 10 is greater than four. Is that true? 10 is greater than four. Yeah, 10 is a bigger number than four. So that's kind of something you can practice too. But I always have to remind myself that the gator always wants to eat the bigger number. Okay, I think we're kind of done with this. Is Miss Allison on yet? Okay, great. So we got sight words done. We got some exercise in because even Gabriella did our jumping beans. We did our, we kind of did some letter writing, even though you're gonna do a little bit more with Miss Allison. We did so much math. And guys, remember, like this is usually like all the stuff we do this in this one hour, it usually takes us all day. So if you get done with this and you're like, oh, I'm so tired, my brain hurts, it should because you've done so much work. Now parents, remember, we will not be on tomorrow. We're only on Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. No, I'm sorry. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I'm gonna say it because it's annoying, but I say it every time. If you can tag us, I have a lot of you guys sending me pictures, which is awesome. But if you can tag at Reading Corner Online, then it shows up on your feed and it also shows up on mine. And then also just tell people, we offer free virtual classes, it's open to everything. Message Reading Corner Online. We'd love to get this out to as many kids as we can. Um, I was gonna say one more thing. On, I'm gonna say, I'm just gonna be safe. I'm gonna say on Monday, look at my stories. I'm gonna show you the curriculum that we're gonna be using. I'm gonna add some games and stuff like that. And then I'm gonna tell you exactly how to get to the games um, or to the curriculum that we're gonna use next week. We're gonna offer it free for anybody that is not a subscription or a, um, a subscriber to our website or is a parent, a family at our reading corner. And then after that, after next week, you can either enroll for $7.99 for the month and just for a month and try it out, or you can do $50 for the year. We will be doing this all summer. I made these really awesome summer workbooks, if I do say so myself. They just got done last year. So they're my newest product. And we're gonna be using those throughout the summer. So um, I'll give some, I'll deal with all that kind of stuff, like how you guys can purchase that later. But next week I'm doing giveaways every day, maybe twice a day, and one day will be a summer workbook. So make sure you follow us on Reading Corner online. I'm so proud of you guys for doing such a great job. And we will see you on Tuesday. If you want to watch other lessons, just go to our YouTube reading corner, the reading corner, and you can see other lessons. All right. Bye guys.
Say hello to Miss Allison. Ah, oh, good morning. Good morning. It's good afternoon. It's not even the morning in HR, but it's three o'clock or three thirty. Whatever. All right. I missed you guys. I really did. Uh, let's do a cheer. You guys ready to do a cheer and have a brain break? You guys, I was listening to you all and watching you all, and you guys have been doing amazing. So let's do a cheer. Let's do fire this firework cheer. Okay, we start down low. We'll practice first. Start down low. And then we make that sound. We go, and then we clap and we go, oh, oh, I love that. Let's do it again. Ready? Ready? And clap and go, oh, oh, I love that. All right. Before we start, I feel like we should do make some superhero masks. Ready? You guys are all superheroes. Do you like this, this sign? And then can you flip it? Flip it like this and say, we are awesome. That's awesome. And say, we are great. All right. I think our brains are ready to start our letter writing. You guys ready to start letter writing? Say, yes, we are. Excellent. <sighs> All right. You should have a piece of paper and a marker or a pencil, whatever is easiest. I have a Zippo marker. Now, we're going to play this game. It's kind of like follow the leader, but I do first and then you do. Okay. So get your papers out. Just like just a blank one, or um, or there is a, there's a printout. I know if your moms and dads could have done that, um, but I have this whole board, so I'm gonna do that. So our first letter is gonna be the letter S. The letter S it goes like, and zzz, that's the sound it makes. Now we with our finger we can do it first and go like we start at the top all the way around and down. Now now it's my turn. Make sure you're thumb and your finger grip or like this on your marker or your pencil. Remember, your marker's down first. I do, ready? Eyes on the board. We're gonna start up, go all the way around and down. That's the letter S. Okay, now you do, wake up your markers. Say, wake up markers, okay? Now we start at the top. We start at the top. We go all the way around and down and stop. How did that go? Try it again. Let's try it again. Ready? All the way around, around and down and stop. I love that. You guys are doing amazing. All right, now, at home, you can keep on going. I just thought we'd practice a couple times. Okay, you guys ready for a next letter? Yes. Yes, I'm going to raise my board. Now, the next one is the letter T. The letter T goes like this. Now, with your finger, start at the top, go down, and then we go across with a dash. Beautiful. All right, markers down, eyes on me, eyes on the board. Okay, I do, I do. Ready? Top to bottom, and then across with a dash. All right, you do wake up your markers and pencil. Ready? Top to bottom, across with a dash. Rock in. Everyone say, nailed it, nailed it. Woo, I love it. All right, next, our next letter. Our next letter. We're gonna do the letter K. Letter K is like this, like we're cutting paper. All right. With your finger, we go top to bottom, and then we go a kick, we kick it out. Excellent, excellent. Kiss your brain. I like that everyone's doing. Okay, now, your marker's down, I do. Remember, I do first. Eyes on me, ready? Top to bottom, with a kick. We're gonna kick it out, right? We're gonna kick it out. All right, you do, you do. Ready, top to bottom with a kick kick it out right that's the letter k as in you're okay that's awesome you guys i just love you all you guys are awesome all right next one next one 
All right, well, I thought I'd do the letter F next. Gabrielle, are you ready? <laughs> letter F sounds like this. Okay, now, with your finger, we're gonna draw it first in the sky, ready? We start with a little curve and down, and then with a dash. All right, all right, eyes on me. I do, I do, pencils down, eyes on me. Letter F is like this, with a little curve, down to the bottom line and with a dash. All right, you do. You do. Little curve, down with a dash. Sweet, you guys are so awesome. I love you so. All right, last one. Last one. It's the letter Y. It's a Y, E, okay, it makes the sound. Okay, with your finger, ready? You start with an angle to the line, and then you start another line all the way past the, the number line, the bottom line. Just like that. Okay, now I do. I do. Eyes on me. Let me make sure you guys are looking. All right, ready? With an angle, and then we take another line and go all the way down the bottom line. You do. You do. All right, ready? First line with an angle and stop. Then the second line, go all the way down past the bottom line. Sweet. You guys are awesome. Kiss your brains. Kiss your brains. You guys worked hard. You guys worked hard. So, since you worked so hard, you know what it's time for? You know what it's time for? You guys ready? Okay, ready? Naturally, dance party. You guys ready for a dance party? Yeah! You can either dance in your chair or you can stand up. Be careful, don't hurt yourself, okay? Here we go. Let's dance it out. Ready? I like, I told you, I like this one lately or I like a little bit of thumb. I love a good brain break. Ready? I'll open it up. Ready? Come on. We'll do the child around. Okay? For the robot. All right. Shake it out. Because we're going to work next. I'm going to get ready. I'm gonna give you a little hint. What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Oh yeah! Woo! All right. Okay. I'm like Ellen. And sit. Yeah. All right. Ready? What time is it? Woo woo! You guys got all your sillies out because it is time for Ryder. Workshop. You're supposed to go, yeah! I'm so excited. I love it when we can write our own sentences. Okay, what do we do with this line? Does anybody know? Write your name. Remember, name on your paper. First thing, it's the very first thing we need to do. And my name is Miss Allison. All right, so N S. Period. A L I S O N. Now, is your name Miss Allison? No. Write your own name. Write your own name. Make sure. That would be too silly. There's only one, thank goodness, of Miss Allison. All right, so there's this rectangle right here. What do we do next? Do you know? Do you know? Can I give you a hint? Can I give you a hint? When we go this box, I'll give you more than a hint. I'm gonna tell you, we're gonna draw. We're gonna draw in this box. Yeah, so, huh, what should I draw? Yeah, Cause remember, we're thinking about the sentence we're gonna write later. So I thought we'd, or we, I mean I, I'm gonna draw about dance parties. 
I love dance parties. Remember we were just doing it a second ago? So I thought we draw the dance party. So this is Miss Allison. And I got, I got long hair. Today I got a bun on, but my hair is super long. So I'm gonna, this is me. And I'm wearing a dress and these are my feet. And these are my arms and my hands. Okay, Miss Allison's drawings are super silly. So just, you have to get beyond that. So this is Miss Allison and this is my speaker that you just heard. It's, see my speakers, right, looks like this. And it's like, oh, all that music is coming out of there. And then at, even though we're doing it online right now, my boy, Sam, I have a little boy named Sam, and he loves to have dance buddies with me too. So this is Sam. I'm like, come on, Sam, let's go dance. And he goes, absolutely. So this is Sam. And then I have Ab Abby is my daughter. Whoop, she's got long hair too. Huh. And she's kind of like, she's in college. So sometimes she doesn't like to dance, but she will if her mom says, let's go. So, and then this is my dog, Lola. My dog, Lola, she loves to dance too. Now, later on, I put a lot of people, cause I like a lot of people dancing. Now, later on, I can label, like put my name and all my Abby and Sam, and I could maybe get a little bit more detail, but we gotta get to business, right? So this is my dance party. So this is my sentence, okay? We're gonna, my sentence says, I like to have dance party. Okay, so that's my sentence. So how many words is that? Ready, let's clap it. Ready? I like to have dance party. Did, did you know how many words that was? Six, six. So we need six lines, okay? Six lines, I'm gonna get marker. Ready, here's my line for each word. I like to have dance party. I do it daily, okay? At the end, you can put a period that stops the sentence, but I, you know Miss Allison talks in exclamation points. I always go, ah! So exclamation points, it's a line and a dot. It means we're saying, yes, right? So I like to have dance party. All right, let's start. Let's start our sentence. What's that first word? I'm gonna circle it because it's a sight word. It's a sight word. What did we say? I, that's easy peasy. Remember, it's a capital I because it's starting the sentence, okay? So we are starting with the word I. Top to bottom, across and across, I. What's our next word? Hmm, remember there's a song that goes with it. L-I-K-E spells what? Like, like. All right, I like. That's also a sign word. So circle it. I like. Now, in my word wall, maybe you have a word wall at home. You could go and look at it. Mine's right here. Hmm, L-I-K-E spells like. Oh, here's mine. Right here. L-I-K-E spells like. So we could just like, we can put it right here and we can write it in. Ready? Top to bottom, short line down with a dot, top to bottom. Oh, we practiced that K today. And the E, my favorite letter to write. I like. So what was that next word? I like, it begins with a letter. Another letter we practice. Yes, two. I like two. Ready? Circle it. Because it's a sight word. We found another sight word. Yeah. So I like two. Hmm. Did you notice it's on my word? Two. T O spells two. Okay. Now, top to bottom with a dash. And up, letter O. Uh, all right, I like to. Next word, have, have. 
Hmm. It's a fine word. It's another one. It's another one. So another circle. Another circle. I like to have. Okay. What's that first letter? Does anybody know? I'm giving you a clue. H. It's an H. It's an H. Top to bottom with a curve. I like to ha ah. hear that ah with that sound. It, that sound with letter goes from starts at two o'clock and down. A like for Miss Allison. Two o'clock and down. Mm, I hear another another letter. V. It kind of tickles when you do that. V. What letter is that? It's letter V. It's letter V. I like to have. Hmm, that's not all the word, the, all the letters in the word have, but those are the sounds I hear. So I'm writing all the letters sounds that I hear. I like to have. Remember the next word, Dan. Dan. Now these are sight words. Dan. Is dance a sight word? No, it's just a fun word, right? So we're gonna put a box over the word dance because it's a word, right? So what's that first letter in dance? Uh, ready? D. You hear it? What's that letter? D. Yeah, you're right. It's the letter D. Okay. D is top to bottom. Remember, it's a diaper. Remember that D has a diaper. So. D. What's another letter in dance? Do you hear anything? D. N. N. I hear an A. I hear an A. Ready? Around two o'clock and down. And I heard a N. What's that? Like brushing your teeth. N. Letter N. Top to bottom with a hum. Dance. Do you hear any other letters? Dance. Oh, I hear this one. We also practice that letter. The letter S. Yes, yes. And once again, is that all the letters that spell out dance? No, it doesn't have to be. It's just the letters that I hear. Okay, let's go back. I like to have dance. What's the last word? Parties. Woohoo! We love to party. We love to party. Okay, that's another word. It's not a sight word. So we're gonna put another box for this last line. I like to have dance parties. Woo! <laughs> What's that letter? What's that letter if I do this? P, right? P is this, top to bottom with a bubble. Okay, I hear R, R. It's like a pirate. But that letter sound, I hear er, I, it really is an A and an R because it has that pirate two letter, two letter phonogram. So it's A and R together. It goes R like a pirate. All right, A is around and down and R is top to bottom with a curve. What else? I hear a T, T. Another letter that we practice, T. Top to bottom with a dash, Party. What's the ending letter? Yes, S. Okay, now, it's not all the letters for party. Yeah, dance parties, but it's okay. We're gonna grow and we're gonna stretch and we're gonna write more letters. It's gonna be amazing. Woo, that was a lot of work. What should we do? Hmm, what should we do now that we did all this work? Should we have a dance party again? Yes, we worked so hard. Okay, ready? Ready? Wait for the music. Wait for it. Wait for it. Uh, wait for it. <laughs> there it is. Ready? Dance it out. We did amazing. I like this one too. Ready? Oh, <laughs> can you floss? I can't. I can't either. But I can. It looks like I am. Ready? 
Ah, oh, she's a blessing. Excellent. You guys worked so hard today. Catch your brain. Now, I'm going to drop my speaker. Now, have an amazing rest of your day. Smile a lot. And make sure you're good to your parents. I get it. So, I love you all. All right. Hope you guys thank work. you, Ms. Allison. <laughs> See you later. Everybody wave to Ms. Allison and say thank you. Goodbye. You guys have a great rest of the day, and we will you. see you on Tuesday. Yay! Bye. Goodbye, goodbye.